Trzymasz odwagę Powiedzieć żoną I stałem tam Gdzie stało domo Hi guys and welcome and today I'm gonna show the conclusion of OpenWRT uh, with a travel portable router. Uh, the main reason is that uh, I've bought that portable router to use on a travel in a hotel where you have a really weak uh, Wi-Fi coverage but you have really good but you have a wired connector, a wired socket, a J45, then you connect to your local area network and from then to internet. So that I've decided to buy some cheap, uh, small, sm in a small size and um, portable router. The problem is that um, it's a second hand router and the previous owner changed firmware from a TP-Link original firmware to OpenWRT. <laughs> I've decided that I don't want to uh, flash back uh, firmware because sometimes you can break your device and then you will have a big problem. Uh, maybe it will, it will be easier to just make a short configuration of OpenWRT and use and use it. Um, but I'm not a fan of OpenWRT. Um, I prefer the standard original firmware in router. The main reason is that the original firmware has much more user-friendly interface and OpenWRT interface is much less user-friendly and is a, a huge pr problem in uh, uh, 2022 to config for configuration. You need a lot of knowledge and it doesn't work in uh, all places. <laughs> the best thing is that uh, the most common original software, original firmware in router uh, works great and you don't need anything more advanced, you can stay with that and you don't need OpenWRT. Open, open WRT is also not the best idea in a travel when you don't have enough enough time for um, really advanced configuration. And the network from hotel to hotel is different. So you will need to adjust some settings. But there's also other thing that in case that I didn't want the open WRT but I have it because I've received router with the software, I will stay with that and uh, we will see uh, what we can do with that. I will also make this video uh, for you of configuration. As you can see using the interface is uh, Run password. Hmm. This is the problem. I don't remember password for the device. Okay, so we have it. Um, I didn't remember, so the third password uh, worked. So I'm gonna change that password because. Uh, I really don't like that um, that one. And okay. Mm. Let's do to a start. As you can see there. The interface of OpenWRT is from the 1990s and it's not really, really nice. You can see the model, that's a 902 AC version of, of travel router, a reverse free. Uh, our processor, the MediaTek processors are mostly the best to use of OpenWRT, OpenWRT version, kernel, local time. And we see our memory, which is used now, almost uh, 60 megabytes have memory. Then we have one uh, wi uh, connection, which is uh, wireless. Our host workstation, IP address. And we have our wireless configuration, but we'll go from a place to place. Then we have our firewall settings, so we can 
make the most important configuration of a firewall here and you can make uh, put everything what you need here exactly how it should be you have a manual ro uh, routing tables are area pre so you can also make some routing configuration system log so you have information what was what was set and when and uh, how it works kernel log about our kernel just open the word is based on linux or arm on arm um, linux little term drives and then we have system in the first uh, page you have a um, general settings host name time zone uh, loading the time synchronization and language and style in the administration you have only router password ssh access and ssh keys so you can set up a uh, here password for the administration uh, web page then we have software startup what we, what we need to turn on at the start of a device the all uh, process of uh, linux linux processors and linux demos i need strips and local setup as same as any uh, in every linux then we have led configuration just we have for the led in the on the front of our device and we can turn on and off our led we have a power uh, power led we have lan we have wi-fi and we have a uh, transmission so they will have we have four and we can turn on and turn off our led we can also make a, a backup or flash our software in the network they are the most important things first of all the interfaces in this device we have three interfaces we have two wireless interface one for 2.4 gigahertz second for 5 GHz network and the third is wired um, Ethernet uh, connection. Now we have uh, the only uh, one configuration because we work as a bridge. If you were in a hotel, uh, in a hotel you will need to make this as bridge. You have, we have the general settings, advanced, and but the first is the most important. Now we work only on the local area network in a small network when we have only router and computer and we don't have access to internet so we use static address with that uh, IP address and mask. If you, you use that uh, router as a bridge in a hotel and you want to have access to internet you need to change here in protocol from static address to uh, DHCP client. You don't need you shouldn't use static you should use the dhcp so you will get a dhcp address but now we can stay with a um, with a standard static address because we work in a local network which is the most important thing and then in fuzzy color here you need to bridge all interfaces we have Ethernet, which is um, our wide uh, interface, and we have WLAN 0, WLAN 1, which is 2.4 and 5 GHz networks. So we have bridged all uh, physical interfaces. Firewall zone and DHCP server. At this mo at, the, at that point, it is the most uh, important. Of course, uh, if we will change here to DHCP client, so, so in a server we need to disable our DHCP server, and here we will work as a client. So our bridge will be transparent for a hotel network. It is the most important in the case of the restriction and in a hotel network. Of course, you can use it. in the other way. You can uh, put uh, our uh, Ethernet as a one um, interface 
you can make a second interface for uh, WLAN 1 and W uh, wireless LAN 1 and wireless LAN 0 so wireless will be the second interface then you will need to make a net interface for a network address, address translation between Ethernet and wireless and turn on DHCP, turn on DHCP server on a wireless network so here we will have wireless client here will be wireless, um, here will be DHCP client here will be DHCP server here we will have from from this to this um, network address translation and do so we'll have three interfaces so there's a different story then we will make a network inside the network it is um, important when we have a restriction like a um, you only allow to connect one device and if you want to connect more than one device to a network it's not allowed by a hotel so then you need to make this type of network address translation so the external network will see only ethernet of a router and then inside the network you will have all other uh, devices but that is not the best idea in the case that on a travel you don't have enough time to make this type of changes the best idea is to make like this you make a bridge of all interfaces ethernet and wireless zero in wireless one so that's the the most simple configuration and it should work in most hotels and we have also global network options and okay then we can go to a wireless which is also very really important and we'll we have two stages here we have our 2.4 gigahertz interface our network 2.4 gigahertz our uh, 5 gigahertz uh, um, network with out of duration we'll go to 2.4 here we have a power channel and in advance you need to select your country and all the settings Be under you will have uh, the mode you can change mode access point client and hold because for example you can make your device as a client for in a wireless interface and routes to a um, a LAN interface to a um, cable interface so, so then you will use a client you can use also most other settings our SSID network name connection to interface here our security and uh, our password w, uh, WP, WPA2 PSK I use every time much filtering which is also possible and in ad advanced settings similar we will have for a 5 gigahertz network the only difference is this uh, channel number here and um, frequency and the other difference will here is all everything uh, the same everything the same as in 2.4 and as you see as you said it says we have master AC travel network which now uh, works our 5 gigahertz network with one device our uh, workstation LAN network uh, computer workstation LAN so it's uh, our uh, laptop and we can, as you can see configuration of that is not that easy as it should be because the interface is based on a 1990 style and it's not comfortable for other places and here we have uh, our switch and our VLAN which works on a um, on LAN port as you can see it's not attached DHCP and DNS we can make the whole configuration here from general TFTP we have mostly uh, everything Here in network firewall, you can uh, turn on and turn off our firewall. The, here you have on the status firewall, we have 
the most detailed and advanced setup uh, of the firewall. But here in network firewall, there's a basic setup. It should be different, but and you have that from land to when is everything is allowed, and from uh, when to to land is rejected. So it's the most important thing if you don't want to be charged that you use router in a hotel, which is usually not allowed. Uh, port forwarding, traffic routes, traffic rules, and we have uh, net, net rules and uh, custom rules. And the last one here we have a diagnostic, so we can uh, check. We can print some uh, some device or over IP version four, over IP version six. We can make a trace over all the two protocols. So everything we can configure here. Why I'm not fan of that? Because it's not user friendly for most users. It's uh, too much complicated. It's great device if you use it on the big uh, routers, on the big routers like TP-Link, big, really big uh, routers. It's uh, really wonderful. But it's uh, uh, crazy when you want to use it on a small router in a hotel. So it's, uh, it's, it's uh, crazy then. Uh, but uh, you have seen the most simple configuration of OpenWRT. The most important thing here, when you should load is network interface. Here you need to load the most. If something doesn't work on network, or you don't know why your router doesn't connect you to internet, or something doesn't work, or you don't see internet from a LAN network, the reason will be here in interfaces, in interface configuration, and here will be the problem. You don't need to load on any other places. You need to load only here. Thanks for watching guys, I hope it was useful for you and we'll, do, we'll see in the next video. Uwierzcie w naszą wygraną w walce Uwierzcie w to, że już niedługo Więc niech się będzie kraj